Mr. Hatfield, um, you, you know, it, you're in an interesting position uh, as your organization because you're, you're not an industry group, you're not a stakeholder group, uh, you're a citizens group. And, and, and I think often that, uh, that perspective, that user perspective, that uh, consumer perspective, that uh, perspective of the, uh, the general public um, isn't always uh, heard in, in these types of discussions, especially when we're getting into the more uh, technical uh, issues, uh, you know, with something like the Broadcasting Act. So I, j- I just wanted to give you a chance, uh, you know, off the top to, you know, give us that perspective. What, what, what is the public saying? You know, I think you mentioned 53,000 um, Canadians have, uh, have uh, contacted uh, you th- and, and through, through you, members of Parliament. What, What's the commentary? What's the message that you're hearing um, from those who are subscribing to your campaigns? Yeah, thanks so much. I mean, I, I think the fundamental message from people is that they're not against um, there being more funding for Canadian cultural content, but they don't want it to come at the cost of their individual choices or at the cost of their own content um, potentially being regulated in some ways by the CRTC. Um, there is a lot, of, uh, a lot of ideas that get pushed around around how to set the system up equitably. And I think part of what makes the C11 conversation so difficult is there's a lot we don't know about what the government or the CRTC actually intends here. Um, we would have much preferred it if there was much clearer instructions about how the CanCon system was going to be redeveloped in this bill. Um, we recognize some of that can't be done in the legislation, but really we have no idea how 1980s definitions of what, what is Canadian are going to be updated who's going to be in, who's going to be out. Um, and we think it should be a fair system, equally accessible to creators creating for every platform across the internet for uh, online creators, as much as for more traditional legacy media. And our concern with the way things are set up right now is it seems to be aimed at sort of a, a maximalist capture of giving every power to the CRDC with very little clarity about how they're going to be using it. Um, And that's why in my comments today, I've really focused on what I think the most important remaining piece is, which is defending uh, the experience that ordinary internet users have, um, getting uh, their content fully excluded and getting their feeds left alone. 